hello everyone. Thank you for being here with us today for Leondios's talk. Leondios Tomboris is an artist currently based in Nicosia. During his residency here at Thinker Makerspace, he developed his research project titled Reconfiguring Motions that involved walking, writing, 3D modeling and making, for which he will talk about today. I predominantly work in the intersection of language making, painting and alchemical discourse, exploring ways to manifest body and matter correlations through various media such as sculpture, installations, text, sound and performative gestures. In addition, I'm interested in ways of engaging with the public, often through putting together events that encompass talks, screenings and workshops, but also working with uh, different organizations in order to produce projects. Coming to the Thinker Makerspace here, my initial aim, as I mentioned, was to develop the work for the exhibition, this video installation, and specifically I was planning to resolve filming, the editing, the soundscape of the video. But most importantly, I was planning to explore the employment or incorporation of sculptural elements in the work using both digital procedures and manual making. I initially experimented with representations of hand gestures and their potential relation to land. The insertion of the text in the video was another aspect I tested with handwritten texts, short titles and subtitles. The idea of objects disappearing in the projected image of the landscape directed me to glass. I started thinking of glass as a material with its own properties and I needed to go back to the studio to start testing it. I used rocks and fossils collected from these various landscapes to test the fusion of glass and the imprints that these objects leave on the material. You can place anything below a glass that can undertake approximately 800 degrees Celsius, and then the glass melts and kind of takes the shape of whatever one places below that. Depictions of hand gestures and their stretch in time was something I looked into. I was interested in looking for origins of gestures associated with the worship of land that I could potentially connect with. To reconfigure focus points of symbolism, I turned it upside down. This act allowed me to spend some more time at the space here in order to reproduce this symbol and expand on the idea of connection with and worship of the land. I tested the 3D scanning of rocks and fossils using a 3D scanner that I can show you here. It's quite straightforward to use. It takes a while to get hold of and understand how it works, but it's quite straightforward. When it comes to scanning, 3D scanning static objects, it, it's easier to place it here and then this is connected with the scanner and the computer. So what happens is that the base turns gradually and the scanner records each side and then all these are transferred into a software that are put together in order to create the 3D model. With the help of Maria Leonidu, I started scanning my hands using specific gestures. The result of this process of scanning was the development of a series of 3D models that refer to this idea of worship of the land what you can see here, I used alginate in order to make molds and then make these silicone hands that you can see here. And then using plaster, I made imprints from these gestures. And then once this dried, I used clay in order to create the imprint from the cavity. Currently, the work is nearly resolved and the culmination of the residency and this project will be presented in a solo exhibition that opens on the 18th of March at Korai. And the work refers to interrelations of walking, making, migration and land, and consists of video installation and sculpture. I've installed a few pieces that refer to the process of the work. You'll be able to see that online alongside an excerpt from the video that is projected next door. Developing communication tools for being with nature, for learning to decipher land and its content, its attachments. 
A homeopathy of transitions as hopes to feel something else, to set our organs in motion to produce something else. Attempting to forget linear thinking, to defamiliarize ourselves. Moving allows us to reinvent stillness, to become sociable away from any type of urbanism, beyond architectural conquests. An endless distancing act, a kind of temporary removal. Thank you.